Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will do some random exercise on our 2D arrays basically. So this is another exercise on array. So we, we are discussing in this video on 2D arrays. So to create a 2D array, right now I will use two for loops to create random numbers of 2D array of noun uh, rows and columns so again I can choose unsigned integers 64 bits sign integers 64 bits or double precision number here in this time I will go with integer 64 bits and I will create a constant of minus 100 to 100 which means that our upper and lower limits are 100 to minus 100 <clears throat> I can just clean up this diagram and right now it is not clean up the diagram it is already clean right now so that's how i can clean up the diagram and now i want to show how many number of columns and how many number of rows uh, the array should be so this will be our columns and this loop will show our rows so i can just create a control and if i just increase its size i can just create a control in here which will show me the number of rows i can just place rows in here and similarly columns in here so i can just change as view as icon and similarly change it to view as icon so right now I am creating a random number generator to create a 2D and array. So to create a 2D array, this output will give me the column basically, how many columns it should be. And similarly, if I put again to the outer loop, that will give me a 2D array. So whenever this loop will iterate, uh, this these columns will be generated. Uh, let's say if i just run my program right now i can select the number of rows and number of columns so i let's say i want to create three columns and four rows so at create an indicator to my this end so a 2d array is being generated with some empty values and if I run my program right now, as you can see, there are three columns are being generated and four rows are also generated. If I just click on my highlighted executed mode and run my program, as you can see, <clears throat> in each iteration of my outer loop, the inner loop will iterate for three times and three times loop iteration means um, three values will be inserted in the three columns for the first row and similarly for the second row for the second row three values will be inserted in the second second time so that's how our array will be generated but I do not want to show all of these array or do not want to scale it down up and down every time if I increase my columns and rows. So for that purpose what we can use in here we can create a property node named as rows. So I can just change all to row and I can connect it with my row. Even I can just pull it out outside of my loop and again I can just connect it with my inner loop so that I can create a copy of that property node and I can just change it to number of columns so that will be selecting our columns I can connect it with my columns in here so right now if whenever if I drag it to maximum numbers this will just only show me at the end of the output that will show me only the number of columns and rows that we have selected even if I just uh, drag it to down in again it will rearrange itself and it will show me only the number of columns and rows that I have selected so what I want to do is I want to create a copy of this 
so that we have two arrays to do some more exercise so similarly I can just connect it with my column input and rows input here I want the same number of rows and columns for my second array so I can just create a secondary in here by creating an indicator so this is my secondary but again we will face the problem of creating resizing the array basically so again we have to create the property nodes of number of rows we can choose change it to right and connect it with the same number of rows since we are dealing with the same number of rows for the both of the arrays and I can just make a copy of it by pressing ctrl and dragging and click on it and goes to number of columns and I can just connect it with my number of columns so right now as you can see I have created two uh, 2d arrays with same size i.e. the same number of rows and columns but different integers different elements in both of the arrays what I want right now is I want to make a third array in which I will put all of these like uh, in the form of first row and then in the second row this and these will be uh, the second row will be our the first uh, three elements from our second array so I will make that and show you how it will work so to get the array first array from the first uh, 2d array from the first array the first line of elements the first row basically we will create again a for loop in which we can just uh, uh, we can start doing programming by indexing so to index and get the row of the first uh, basically the first um, first array so I can just connect it with here and I can just change it to disable indexing so that I will get my 2d array in here and I can just get the first row and similarly I can just connect the output of my second array and again I can just disable the indexing so that I will get the 2d array and I will just connect it in here so right now as we are dealing with the number of rows since we need to replace the number of rows mix the number of rows like first row and then the second row in here and again the third row will be this row will become the third row in our array so we are right now playing with at rows so I can just create either I can just directly connect with my connect it to this but this is not a good practice so I will just create a property node named as value so right now whatever the value of this control this will be represented or shifted or be reflexed in this property node so this is the value of rows that much time this loop will execute so <clears throat> right now what I want to do is I will create a build array function again and I will just connect the sub array in here and then the second sub array in here and connect the output with my for loop I'll just replace that with some shift register and connect it with the output in here I'll again just create the start the uh, indicate the start my uh, array from zero and create an indicator in here. This is my appended array. If I just drag it down in here and run my program, I can see that my first row basically is 85 minus 74 and minus 57 85 minus 74 and minus 57 but the second row must not be minus 85 minus 44 and 72 my second row is minus 27 minus 50 and 22 so it means that we are merging those arrays and creating uh, a third array with uh, the with some uh, merging with these two rows basically so how it works basically is we are indexing those we are getting one by one these arrays 
as the first on the first iteration it means we have zero index so we are getting this array this row and similarly this row and it will place in this function built an array function and similarly in this function so in the next uh, loop iteration that will again create our row indicator and that will indicate us that in the second loop iteration we, it will move to shift register and appears in here and we can just append that array exactly so right again we can just control our uh, columns and rows of this as well by creating the property node named as number of rows change it to change all to right but this time how many number of rows we need we need the number of rows multiplied by 2 we can create a constant and connect it as in here so that many number of times that will be created so right now if I just increase my number of rows let's say 5 then 5 number of rows in here 5 number of rows in here and total 10 number of rows are being generated in here so that's how it is being generated